everyone, my name is Tim Brown. Welcome back to my Apple Podcast. Today, as they say in the Born Supremacy, I am going mobile. This whole recording is being done with my mobile devices. I actually have my iPhone set up on my tripod and I'm using the Sennheiser Clip Mic Digital Microphone to record my voice so I can get a better sound. The room I'm in right now is kind of echoey, so I need to sort of cut down on that a little bit. Um, and I'm also reviewing LumaFusion, which is an app for iOS for the iPhone and the iPad. I did review this app earlier, but I'm going to give a short update on this app because I have the beta version of their next release, which includes Chroma Key. So if you're not familiar with LumaFusion or if you haven't seen my earlier episode, LumaFusion is probably no, is the best video editor for iOS. It's it's a one-stop studio editor editing machine. And now the program is even more complete because it now has chroma key options. So that's what I'm going to demonstrate for you now. Okay, so I have LumaFusion open right now. And as you can see, there's a video recording of myself with a green screen behind me, very similar to actually what I'm doing right now. And I'm going to go ahead and go into editing mode by double tapping on my video clip, which is going to take me into the panel where I have access to all the editing controls. So I'm going to go ahead and double tap on that. And as you can see here, by default, I am taken to the frame and fit option. This is where you can crop and move things around where you want them to. Uh, in my case, I'm going to go ahead and crop this video because I don't really need the entire a span of the green screen here and it also may improve my chroma key uh, by doing so so i'm going to actually bring the left panel over as well as the right <clears throat> just a little bit and maybe bring the top down just a bit a, t a tad okay and i'm going to move me over maybe a little to the left okay now i'm ready to move on to the chroma key function so on the far right you'll see another menu and this is where you can access all your controls, your vignettes, your Gaussian blurs, and so forth, uh, all your, your color LUTs. But you also have, if you go to the far right, right before you get to the star, there is a new icon that's available, and this is for keying out your subject. And as you can see, there are six options. You have a green chroma key, a blue chroma key option, as well as two luma options for light and dark, and then two more options for blue sky and ocean. What's really nice too is that regardless of what footage you're bringing in, the thumbnail will actually indicate which one is the most appropriate one for you. So obviously, I'm using a green screen, so Luma reads this right away. So the first option in the top left, green screen key, is actually the background's already keyed out. So it's indicating to me that that's the option for me, so I'm going to go ahead and select the green uh, key option. <clears throat> And as you can see here, I am not coming in as clearly as I should, so let's go ahead and make some adjustments. As you can see down below, you have the option to adjust the hue, the saturation range, as well as the brightness range. I'm going to start out by playing around with the brightness range. And so that very quickly brought in the density of my body. Uh, my head still looks like it's <clears throat> being eaten into a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe adjust the saturation range there and see if that fixes the problem. Great. So it looks like I have a pretty good, nice chroma key already set up. Uh, let's go ahead and play this back to see what it looks like. Hey everyone, Tim Brown. Welcome back to my Apple Podcast. Awesome. Pretty cool. Uh, it's really that simple. Uh, now you have Chroma Key as well as all these other advanced video editing tools at your disposal. And you can do this on the go, kind of what I'm doing right now. Uh, this is Tim Brown. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of My Apple Podcast. Check me out next time.